Hey, this is Tyler Diesel Geek. Sometimes we get asked about cam seals, and so this is a little bit of a overview of, of the three different seal types, and we're gonna install a couple of them. First, we have the rubber spring and lip seal. Um, these were used since the beginning of time, and they were phased out in around 2002. They weren't super reliable. And, uh, but they are very easy to install. But when Volkswagen, when we realized that, that the replacement for this seal was a lot more reliable than the old ones, we, we just kind of stopped including cam seals in our timing kits. But following the rubber spring and lip seal, manufacturers introduced the plastic PTFE type seal. And this one uh, doesn't have a, a sealing lip or excuse me, it doesn't have a, a spring around the sealing lip. And these are super, super reliable and they're awesome. And you just hardly ever have to mess with them, but they are kind of tricky to install. You can replace this style with this style, um, but you're not supposed to go the other way around. Not that that's a good idea. Uh, but anyway, that's the, that's the PTFE seal. And then uh, for the 2011 in newer cars or so, um, we have a different type of PTFE seal. And this is uh, what I call the inside out PTFE seal because this one, the sealing lip faces towards the motor. This is towards the motor and this is the outside. And on the inside out PTFE seal, this is the outside, this is towards the motor and the sealing lip faces outward. These are also really reliable, and um, you know if you don't if you don't need to mess with them, don't mess with them. Unless the seal is leaking, just leave it alone because you're far more likely to cause a leak due to an installation error than you are to have a seal start leaking on its own. So now we're gonna put a couple in there. This is an ALH head. The ALH is nice because the valve cover is easy to get off, and the number one cam cap is easily removable. So if you have to do a seal on one of these, it's really just a matter of dropping all the bolts on the floor. And um, really it's just a matter of, of taking that number one cam cap off. You just flick your old seal out and you clean up these surfaces real nice. Kind of just doing a mock-up here because this head is obviously not exactly ready to go back in a car. Um, anyway, uh, so with everything super clean, all you need to do is tape over this keyway here so that the ceiling lip doesn't get caught. Masking tape is great. And you just take your seal, and again, no lubrication, clean and dry. And you just put it on here. And just push it all the way on, nice and square. And you take this infinitesimally small little smear of Permatex number two gasket maker. I've had the same container for 20 years. Um, just like that. Snap it on and carefully remove your tape. And that's, that's all you need to do there. So clean and dry and then the other important note with these PTFE seals is that you have to just let them rest so that that plastic can conform to the shaft. Um, so the, the manual recommends a four hour rest time before you start the engine. Um, but that's, that's the right side out PTFE seal uh, on, on an easy to install head. Um, on a PD or a common rail car, you know, the PD has injector rockers and, and the like, and the common rail cars have a bed plate 
cam ladder type situation. So it's just not really feasible to remove that number one cam cap. And so um, for the PDs or the common rail cars and tons of gasoline applications, um, you have to use an extractor here. And the way this tool works is it slides onto the nose of the camshaft and you press inward and rotate and the threads of this tool um, that are increasing, uh, increasing diameter thread in and grip the metal that's inside the cam seal. And once it gets tight, um, then you just thread this forcing screw in here, which presses against the nose of the cam and it'll extract the seal out. And then when you're going back together, you need to use an installation tool. And the installation tool varies a little bit by, by application, but generally speaking, you have a plastic guide that provides the seal a nice transition onto the shaft. And you have this forcing cup that, that drives the seal on there. So we'll show you that in action here in a minute. Um, there's a couple other, this one's actually for, a, for the front crank seal um, on a lot of applications. And these two are, are for cam seals um, of different, different depths to accommodate the nose length. But anyway, we have a Passat, CKRA Passat over here that has a very badly failed cam seal. Again, super rare occurrence. Don't mess with them unless they're leaking, but we're going to replace this seal now. As you can see here, we've got oil all over the timing compartment and it's pretty obviously coming out of the cam seal here. Well, we have oil pooled here and it's more than likely coming out of the shaft here. So we're gonna, we're gonna extract this seal and then clean everything up and then press in a new one. So first things first, we'll put our press piece in here. Line that guy up. And these inside out seals, you have to press in really hard to get that tool to bite. So that's getting pretty tight, but really we're just gonna keep threading this on in. And usually, usually the seal itself will start to spin and that'll be probably hard to catch on the camera, but let's see if we get lucky. All right, I think that's about as tight as we're gonna get. So back that off, unlock our guy here. And then this, we'll thread this uh, center screw in until it bottoms out. Once that guy's out of there, just give it a pull. Now we've got our seal out of there without having to take our valve cover off. Next, we're just gonna clean this out. Um, I'm gonna be lazy and just spray it with brake cleaner. All right, so that's, that's nice and clean. We'll just let that brake cleaner boil off there. So now we'll put our guide sleeve on here. This car came with an inside out seal. Not all the common rails did. The early common rails just used the regular PTFE, but this one came with the inside out seal. So we're gonna put the inside out seal back on there just for consistency sake. And you can kind of get it kind of started by hand just make sure it's nice and square. And now we'll use, let's see if this is the right one. If not, we'll use the longer one. All 
All right, so that's snugged up. Back this guy out. Seal depth is the same as it was before, and it's nice and square. And we'll just take our little cone off. So we can put this car back together, but um, we're gonna start our, start our clock and wait four hours before we start this engine. Because if you start them early before the seal takes a set, they will leak. And uh, that's, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Um, one last note before we go, don't do this because you're there. Only do this if you have a leaking seal. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye for now.